Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price and Tosca API Automation Tutorial. I have received a lot of requests from my YouTube subscribers to cover the lessons on API automation by using Price and Tosca. So from today onwards, I'm going to publish a series of lessons covering basic concepts to the advanced level concepts of API automation by using Tricentis Tosca. This is our lesson one on API automation by using Tricentis Tosca. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you introduction to the API automation where I will be covering about what is API automation, why do we need to automate API testing and what are the advantages of using Tricentis Tosca in automating the API services and what are all the different resources that we are going to use in our upcoming classes to automate API services by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. What is API? API is nothing but application programming interface. So this interface is created with application in mind rather than the end user. This API interacts with only application and is created to be machine readable. It speaks language of software. So this is one of the reason why API testing can be major time saver. So these are some examples of web API. So when we search using search bar, let's say in Google, right? Whenever you search using search bar, the API communicates with the application and responds with the results of your search criteria. So not only web APIs, we can also understand with physical objects as well. For example, the way API is responding with the search results whenever you search in Google, right? In the same way, by using mouse, you can do right click and left click on your system. So if you do right click, you will have some functionalities or you will get a some pop-up. If you do left click, some action will be performed by laptop. So how this is happening? So while this happens physically, there is an interaction with your computer through an API and response is seen on the screen. You are not actually interacting with software code. Rather, API is doing it for you. So if you see the right side diagram, a request will be sent through API and the API request goes to a system and that system gives you a response. So this is what the API means. And what is web service? A service offered by one electronic device to enable communication with other electronic device via the world wide web. There is two main types of web services that we will be focusing during these Tosca API automation lessons. The first one is SOAP and the second one is REST. So these both use the same medium HTTP method. And what are the formats? For SOAP, we are going to use XML format. And then for REST, we will be using JSON format. So we are going to discuss about these formats in later sessions. And what is the communication method that these two services uses? It's HTTP communication method. So what are all the different HTTP communication methods that are available? First, you have a GET method. The GET method is used to request data from a specific resource 
and the method post is used to submit data to be processed to a specific resource and the method head is used same as get but returns only HTTP headers and no document body and the method put is used to upload a representation of the specific URI and then the method delete is used to delete the specified resource. So these are the different HTTP communication methods that we can use by using web services. And why API testing is needed? Because it is faster to execute rather than testing user interface. And you can start testing earlier because APIs are defined much earlier in development process which fits in agile methodology and you can test before user interface is created. So we can test the application directly through APIs before even user interface is built by developers. So no UI loading times basically because there is no UI the loading time that is required for user interface to load is not needed that means it takes a small fraction of seconds to test and you can run more tests in less time as it is taking a very very fraction of seconds. So it improves the automation because many of the challenges related to UI automation are overcome and this API testing is 50 times faster and cheaper and the Tasca, Tricentis Tasca provides API scan standalone program that can be used by developers or testers. So this does not require any Tricentis Tasca. You can simply use API scan standalone program as well to automate your API services. So as I told you, you need not to install Tricentis Tosca. Now what is this API scan standalone program? So developers can scan the messages by using this API standalone program and they can save results and share the subset that is saved so that tester can manipulate and test the API services. And so by using API scan standalone program, a simple action of scan in API saves a lot of time. Because until now, for API testing was done by scanning and coding and testing manually. So with this API scan, you can create test and the test creation time drastically reduced, maintenance times almost be removed. Maintenance of API tests. So instead of rescripting all the tests manually, by using this API scan standalone program, you can rescan API after updates or changes and simply adopting the artifacts we created during previous test cycle. So API scan brings QA and developers closer to each other. So automation specialists with only limited technical skills are now able to test using APIs. Okay. So now let us discuss what are all the different resources that we are going to use in our upcoming lessons related to API automation by using Tricentis Tosca. First of all, before we know about the resources, we have to know what is XML. XML nothing but extensible markup language, so which is human and machine readable, much like HTML and easy to understand and easy to use. And as you all know, we have used demo webshop 
for our web automation as well so in the same way we are going to use sometimes this demo web shop built by tricentis so let me go back to my chrome so this is what i'm talking about this is our demo web shop which is a sample website shopping website designed by tricentis for practice purpose and our next resource is swagger so to test rest services we are going to use the coffee shop so this is an in development app that will allow users to design a customer coffee and then you can order and you can collect the coffee right so that is the application we have to build but this is in development so hence we are going to use this particular swagger to access all the web services that are required to design your customer coffee order the coffee and then collect the coffee so whatever the api requests that are required to interact with your coffee shop application those are already developed by the development team but user interface is not ready so let me go back to my chrome this is the swagger i'm talking about so if you see here you have a endpoint and api key and you can see all these for copy coffees you have delete get method post method put method for data you have get and get methods employees you have other services and files you have more services built for profiles module there are many services that are available for shops module there are many services that are available right so we are going to use this swagger to test all the api services that are required for our upcoming coffee shop application and then there is another resource so coffee shop works quite differently from the demo web shop that we worked during our web automation so i would recommend you guys to refer my previous videos on web automation by using tricentis task i'm going to leave all the links in the description so this coffee shop requires a token or service access key in order to access these coffee shop services and in order to interact with these services also you need service access key so in the same way all rest services requires similar technology or similar methodology so you guys need to generate the service key in the next lesson so i'm going to teach you step by step how to do and keep in mind that this access key whatever you generate right so that is only valid for 24 hours okay and this is the web interface to generate your access key so this access key expires within 24 hours that means you need to generate new access key every 24 hours so you need to generate new access key every 24 hours this brings us to the end of our lesson hope you all understand the concepts of introduction to api services why do we need to do api testing and what are all the advantages of using tricentis task for automating your api services please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notification whenever i publish more videos thank you